Hey you guys, it's me Kiana. I cannot stand Chuck, okay? I cannot stand you. Anyway, um, yeah, we just got back uh, from the market. And as you know, we went to Sam's Club and bought in bulk. Uh, we bought at least like three months worth of groceries. However, I need specific items um, now that I am embarking on what I am doing. So, you guys already know what's going on, how I'm eating, why I'm eating this way. You already are, um, also know that I am having gastric sleeve surgery December the 10th. And although I'm not in the time frame for the liquid diet, um, I am incorporating um, juicing, also uh, protein shakes, and then basically eating like one meal a day. And that one meal a day that I eat, um, I'm watching my carbs and sometimes watching my calories as well. So, all right, so I went and bought some items for my own way of eating. And also I'm gonna be sharing some of these items with Nene because you know she's a vegetarian. So whatever, you'll notice the things that I'm gonna be eating and you'll notice the things that Nene and I both are gonna be eating. So I went to Safeway and this is my food haul so thank you God, thank you all for tuning in let me start with my guilty pleasure okay this is something that of course is low in calories um as far as the carbs um it's not that low in carbs although um it's about 19 grams per three pieces so that's not too too bad um, of course, that's not, you know, Ekin's induction phase, 20 carbs a day, but I'm not doing um, induction. I'm just watching and maintaining um, and keeping my carbs at a certain level. So my guilty pleasure that I got for Nene and I, and I wouldn't even call this a guilty pleasure because like I said, it is extremely low in calories um, and it's um, pretty much a healthy product. But um, this is one of my favorite things. So. I got Nene and I the sushi party tray. So this is the 20 piece sushi party tray. So this is something that we will have as my guilty pleasure. Um, where sometimes my guilty pleasure in the past has been Oreos or chips and Doritos and things like that. This is my guilty pleasure. Now. Um, I think that was about $10.99, something like that. But that's something that we like. Um, with always, with maintaining your carbs or watching your carbs, you want to have eggs. Um, and Nene eats them as well. And a lot of my recipes, when it's dealing with like low carb, calls for um, eggs. So, um, and then besides that, I eat them in the morning or um, whatever meal I'm going to have if I decide to have eggs with it then um, I may have egg salad or something like that. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of eggs. So I got the two and a half dozen of eggs. I also got some green peppers because I'm going to be making some um, spaghetti with shiitake noodles, um, which are the tofu noodles. Um, and I introduced you guys, many of you guys, to them um, about nine months ago when I was on low carb. So um, I'm going to be making that with some mushrooms, green and red peppers, some celery, all that sauteed, some onion, and some ground turkey for mine. Um, of course, in eight days, I'm going to minus the ground turkey, but um, that's what I'm going to put in mine. Um, that is extremely low carb. It's a great meal and um, very filling. Anyway. I got those peppers. I also got cucumber. I got some eggplant because I like, uh, when I used to be on low carb before, I loved making uh, eggplant lasagna um, and that was delicious. You want to use this um, in replacement of your noodles. You want to cut it thin. Um, also on each side, bread it with Parmesan cheese delicious and that was one of my favorite dishes so I got the eggplant I got a bag of onions you have to be mindful of those onions though because onions do have carbs in it and as you keep using more and more and more your 
up in your carb level. So I also got some celery because anything that you would have like uh, green peppers and onions in, I love putting celery in. Uh, for one, it bulks up your dish. It gives you extra fiber. Um, and for two, I just love the, the little extra crunch that it gives. So um, whenever I'm sauteing vegetables, I always add celery um, into it as well. I also got a big, huge bag of um, kale greens, fresh kale greens. Um, so this is going to give me that extra uh, vitamin C I need. That's going to give me also some little bit of extra um, uh, extra uh, uh, what do you call it? Extra greens and stuff like that in my diet. So I got this huge bag of greens. I got some grapes, a big bag of grapes. Um, these are green seedless grapes. Um, staying away from fruit a little bit right now um, because I can overindulge in it. And of course, as you know, anything other than, than berries and melons have a higher carb count. Um, but again, I'm not excluding things out of my diet totally, except for um, white white things like flour, potatoes, sugar, and rice. Um, that's why I said the sushi is my guilty pleasure because, of course, that does have rice in it. Um, but um, I can eat things like the grapes, um, you know, as like a little guilty pleasure, even though that's still considered healthy. So I got the grapes. Of course, that's from Nene and I and also Pooty. Um, I also got some shrimp and stuff. Let me show you that. I got some fish, some salmon. Let me show you this first. Um, I got some string cheese, uh, 16 pack of string cheese. Nene loves these. Um, and you can also, um, in my case, I can wrap them in, um, like I can wrap like some turkey or something around it. So I got this. I got these really for Nene because they're not really that low in carb. Um, although anything, you know, if you have a balance to it, of course, you can eat anything basically. But I did get these because they was on sale. Um, so I got the Lewis Kemp um, seafood chunk or the crab chunk. Got these. I got like three packs of those. I could easily just whip together a quick um, seafood salad, uh, put that on lettuce or whatever, and eat that like that. I also got some bratwurst. Um, this is just the regular kind. So I got this. Um, actually, was a couple of things I got that were 50% off. Y'all know how I do. Always making sure I get a deal and get uh, stay on my budget uh, as closely as possible so um, I got these and that way when daddy is cooking on the grill he can just throw those on the grill for me um, they have no carbs in it whatsoever I also got some turkey breast because I like to put this in my chef salads and this is the big huge 20 ounce family size pack they had this on sale for five dollars so I got that and uh, this actually has zero carbs and it has zero fat, four grams of protein. So that's a way to get some extra protein in. That's why when you see me have a salad, and yes, I do eat a big salad just in case anybody wants to make a comment about it. Yes, I do eat big salads, okay? <laughs> yeah, I did. Anyway, um, but a way to get the extra protein into my salads. Um, I put things like that in it so because protein as you know is an important thing and you can get protein from other things other than meat so um, I learned that being a vegetarian at the time for I think I was a vegetarian for I think four months you guys but Nene's still going strong so these are some fresh uh, mushrooms I got those I also got some chicken wing winglet, winglets. 
Um, these were 50% off. They were $6 with half off because they were marked down. Um, so I paid $3 for the pack. Um, and I could just basically, I could make some um, Parmesan ranch wings out of this. Um, I'm pretty sure I gave you guys a while back my recipe for that. But if I have it, I'll try to cook it on camera for you guys. How about that? And then I got some of this uh, boneless and skinless chicken breast. Um, actually, test, textbook um, low carb, you're supposed to have it with the skin on it. They actually prefer you to have it with the skin on it. But again, I'm not totally almost like basically no carb. I'm just watching my carbs. I'm making sure that I stay away from the things that are um, things that I overindulge in. And as you all know, people that's been following me for a while, you know that I am a potato junkie. So um, I do not eat that much sugar. I'm not one that really eats cookies and things like that. So that's not a problem for me staying away from, but I am making sure I stay away from that. Um, flour, white flour, um, rice, uh, potatoes of any kind, those things I'm staying away from. Um, so it's a little different than when I was doing low carb in front of you guys before. Uh, because like I said, they actually, I know it's against some of what you guys think or some of what you guys may believe uh, being people that may be focused on low cal. And that's your thing and that's okay. But me knowing the science behind low carb and have done it for a while and actually um, lived it, not just researched it as well. I do know that they actually prefer you to have the skin on, but I got these um, because that's what I want to do with what I'm doing. So this is boneless, skinless chicken breast, um, seven dollars with half off, so it was three fifty a pack. Got that. This also was some um, uh, beef top round steak um, London broil. Uh, $6 were half off, so I wind up paying $3 for this thick piece of um, London Borough State. I also got some uh, wild Alaskan salmon. I got some of that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got some wild Alaskan salmon. You only get one pack in here. Um, it has zero carbs in it. Um, it is two ounces uh, for this serving uh, and it's 90 calories so this is just a great choice you guys use a small piece um, and I think it's probably about uh, I think this was about five bucks for this little one piece you guys but I got it because um, it's good for you and it's a great source of um, protein and all that good stuff then I also got some um, fillets. Uh, this is boneless and skinless and it's individually packed. So this is a great thing to have. Um, you can make parmesan encrusted fillets um, and bake it in the oven. So this is something that Nene will be eating as well um, and me. And it's 70 calories per fillet and it has zero carbs and it has zero fat grams. So and they're individually packaged, so that's a great thing as well. I also got some sockeye Alaskan filet um, salmon. I got some of that. That was on sale, uh, four dollars and seventy cents and half off. So I paid probably about what uh, two thirty for them. It's a small piece per. It's only for one person, but. I am trying to watch my portion sizes, so this is perfect for me. So whenever you see these things on sale, you guys, that is already portioned, it's a great thing for you because it basically takes the brain work out of it for you. It usually tells you the amount of ounces that each item is, so you already know, or per pound or whatever it is, if it's a half a pound, a quarter of a pound. Um, and it just gives you the opportunity to be able to get, um, you know, basically get great foods like salmon and things like that that would be normally it's more expensive um, and you just have enough just for whatever meal you're going to fix. So I got a couple of those so that wound up being less than what it was less than 250 so I got a couple of those. They also had some lobster tails that was half off and they were normally $12. Um, actually normally for two lobster tails because you're getting four ounces for two of the lobster tails, it's usually $18. So you're paying $9 per lobster tail. 
um, when it was on sale, it was twelve dollars. So you were saving like five bucks, and then they marked it down half off of that. So I wound up getting two lobster tails, you guys, for a total of six dollars. So I paid three dollars per lobster tail. So I went from it was being nine dollars per lobster tail to three dollars per lobster tail. So I got a couple of packages of those. I got another pack of that boneless, skinless chicken breast. I also got a big veggie tray. What I do is I like to keep these things uh, out on the table or in the fridge so that if anybody want a snack on a day, meaning Nene, me, and, and, and uh, Pooty, because Daddy really doesn't eat too many vegetables, as you know. Um, he is more of a salad eater if he's going to eat his vegetables, so I force him to eat salad. Um, so... That's you know you know as being a wife or being wives you are you already know that we sometimes have to force them to do things um, that they really don't want to do sometimes but um, yeah so I got this this was about ten bucks and it comes with everything everything in it you could either add this to your salads um, or either eat it by itself or as a side order or a side dish I do both um, I also got. Um, raw shrimps. Um, these have the tail and shell on already. I got these. These were on sale, I think, for 10 bucks. You get 50, 51 to 60 shrimps, and they're medium shrimps. So I got two bags of these because I can easily make a scampi or alfredo with the sataki noodles um, or just add it into a little stir fry with some vegetables or whatever. Um, as for Nene, I can add her some little brown rice on the side and I'll just skip that option of the brown rice of course. But I got those. I did look and found some seafood sauces that I can use for the salmon that I bought and also for some of the um, the fish, the regular fish that I got, the fillets, and also the raw shrimp. Um, this is lemon butter dill. And I knew with knowing a lot about low carb, all of those flavors um, or all of those raw ingredients really don't have too many carbs. So I looked on the back and I did find out that these, this alley has per ta uh, two tablespoons. Uh, it only has three carbs in it. So per, t per tablespoon is basically like one or one and a half carbs. So that's great to add extra flavor, make you think you have something that you really um, maybe think that your mind is telling you that you really shouldn't be eating, but it's still watching your carbs. As far as calories, you guys, it's about 80 calories per two tablespoons. So that's not too bad. Again, focusing on the carbs as well for me. Um, and that's what works for me. And this is the lemon butter dill. You can find this in your... Uh, frozen fish fish section not frozen fresh fish section um, this is scampi seafood sauce and again me knowing the ingredients I knew it wasn't going to be hardly any carbs and it doesn't it only has one carb in it per two tablespoons so this is seven um, servings in here and it's only seven carbs for this whole entire bottle you guys so this is great to just put on top of you know, use it in your um, shrimp or even in your fish. I also got pistachios. These I wind up, they were buy one, want free. And then I had coupons for 75% off. And as you know, my coupon is out there. Um, you can use two coupons, and my market doubles. So I wind up paying a dollar and fifty cents off of each bag. Now let's do the math. Six dollars because they buy one one free. It was five ninety nine. You got one free. So I'm going to use this is six dollars. I'm going to use two seventy five cent off coupons. That's giving me three dollars off. Why? Because the seventy five cent doubles on each. Even when it's buy one one free, you still can use two coupons. So I wind up getting three dollars off of the price of six dollars. So I wound up getting these bags of pistachios for $1.50 each. They are 8 ounces and they're normally $6 a piece. So the fact that I got two for uh, $3 is a really hell of a find. And in fact, I was digging and digging and digging to see if I seen any more peelies, anyone, any of them that had the peelies on it, which I didn't. 
So I just got these two. I was happy to be able to get these. These actually had Peelies on it. Um, that's how I coupon. I coupon with uh, Peelies. I coupon with Blinkies. And I coupon with the 50% off savings. That way I don't have to clip any coupons. And I'm still getting a hell of a deal. So um, $3 for both of these. These are for Nene and I. If you want to know the carb intake. Uh, it's four grams of carbs per serving. Each bag gives you four servings. So we're looking at 16 carbs for the whole entire bag of pistachios. That's not bad at all. So I also got some sour cream because I do like to fix taco salad. Um, cause tacos are one of my favorite meals, you guys, as you all know. So what I like to do is I like to fix a taco salad, which is just some cheese, some ground turkey on top of a bed of greens and lettuce and salad and um, I just top it with some salsa and some sour cream that's not so I don't have to use any salad dressing I just use a little bit of this with the salsa it works out fine and I still get the taste of a taco and it's very low carb in fact that's textbook low carb um, I also got these I used some blinky coupons Everybody's been telling me about the Greek yogurt. You can just also dump this into a blender and add your protein shake with it and create a smoothie. Um, that's up to you or you can just eat it like it is. Well, they have Blinky coupons right above these. These were 10 for a dollar. I'm um, 10 for 10, so that was a dollar a piece. Then they have Blinky coupons for 75 cents off of three. So that wound up being what? They doubled my coupons, of course, on anything under a dollar. So they wound up being a dollar fifty cents off. So every three I got of these Greek yogurts that are usually like a dollar and forty cents a piece, every three I paid a dollar fifty cents. So it wound up being a total of fifty cents each. And again, these are usually like one one thirty nine, one fifty a piece. And I got the one that had the fruit at the bottom, Greek non-fat yogurt. So I got two of the blueberries, um, and. Uh, four of the yogurt. If you want to know the nutritional value of it, it's a hundred calories per cup and the carb intake is for the whole cup is 15. And then it has, yeah, so it's 15 and it has 12 grams of protein. So this will be, like I said, it's not all the way no carb, but it's still a better option to grab this versus grabbing some Uts potato chips. So I got uh, six of these all together. That's four. That's six. And last but not least, these uh, fruit and cool dual icebreakers. Um, I got strawberry because that's one of my favorite uh, flavors. Um, this is sugar free mints. They look like these, they just came out. They had peely coupons, and I made sure I got plenty. And yes, I'm looking in my my bra for them. <laughs> I can't find them right now. I can't find them right now, you guys. But here they go. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed me a couple of extra ones. Um, so that I could use them at any store because they're not just exclusive for one store. They're normally two dollars and twenty nine cents, you guys, for one of these. So they were ten for ten. So that made them a dollar a piece on sale. And then they had these coupons nearby that said buy one get one free. And they actually don't expire until Halloween. So um, yeah. So I have all of these coupons to use. And these are great to use as far as just wanting something um, because it is sugar free in case I didn't tell you guys that it is sugar free and as far as the carbs zero carbs and zero carbs zero fat zero sodium zero sugars no sugar alcohols at, at, at all and it's zero calories so it's a win-win situation you guys so I wound up paying a uh, dollar each and then I got buy one going free so I wind up getting two for a dollar and again they're normally two dollars and twenty nine cents so I'm sorry this video was so long you guys I just wanted you guys to see some of the things that I'm eating some of the things that I purchased and yes we still have plenty of food left over from last month from BJ's and um, not BJ's Sam's Club
However, I wanted to make sure that I had my food specifically, and I was eating a little different than a lot different than what I uh, what I have in the house from Sam's. So I wanted to make sure I had my items specifically, and this should last me a good while. So, um, me and Nene, or Nene and I. So thank you for tuning in, you guys. Thank you for rolling with me. I love you all so much. Talk to you guys later, and be blessed.